right, warriors, welcome back. Before we get started, let's do this breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds, and then we're going to shake that shit off. And what we're doing is controlling our core so we can pay attention more better bestest without self-convicting. And look, every now and again, it, it does hurt. It stings a little. you got to feel it to heal it, but it shouldn't give you a hemorrhage again. You know what I'm saying? Like the suspedos, like, <gasps> no. Uh, uh, what we do is take that edge off. It's kind of like the first time skydiving, right? Or riding a roller coaster. Let's take it down a notch. Let's just say you rode a roller coaster for the first time. The butterfly feelings and the anxiety and the anxiousness you felt in line as you held, as you heard others riding the ride and yelling and screaming, that butterfly feeling starts to subside a bit after you've rode that bitch 10 times. And that's why we go over it and go over it and go over it. So that it doesn't numb you, but you become more aware and it doesn't take your breath away. Five seconds does this when you're being provoked in person. And that's why it's so important that you understand that you need to be able to do this on your own. Not with the theatrics, not the way I do it. Although I do it that way just to uh, provoke the narcissist back. See, you poke the bear, I bite. And then I do theatrics, and they'll go, what the hell are you doing? Well, that's what I do when I run into a dumbass. Low IQ. My bad. <laughs> Let's do this, man. Five seconds. Release slowly. All right, shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> Look, sometimes you need to do some exaggerations in order to drive a point home. And it's critical that you be able to think creatively. It's kind of like this, uh, it's not even a joke. I saw, I saw it on YouTube. It was like a, a video. And it was a janitor. And you know how kids are. Especially if you have narcissistic kids with the narky traits. The more you tell them no, the more they want to do things. The more you tell them stop doing this, the more they want to do it. Like you're taking their precious away. My precious! Well, the janitor was having a problem at school with girls in the girls' restroom putting lipstick kisses all over the mirror. Boy, he was getting fed up. He tried talking to the girls on his own to try and get them to stop kissing the mirror. They wouldn't stop kissing the damn mirror. So he goes to the principal and says, Look, I need your help. Uh, if you can get all the girls together, band them together, put them in the restroom so that they can watch me clean this mirror so they understand how much hard work it takes to clean this mirror. And the principal, uh, of course, isn't unaware. And so she's like, You know what? Whatever works, we'll, we'll try it. So he goes in there and he says, Man, he says, I want you all to line up right here. And he scoots the girls in the middle off to the side and opens one of the stall doors. Pours some pine oil inside the commode, grabs a, uh, a mop stick. because he, he, he says, I don't want to touch it with my hands. So he grabs a mop stick, puts some gloves on, grabs it like that, and starts sloshing it on the mirror to clean the mirror. And he says, you see how hard it is to do this every day. And you're over here kissing the mirror, making my job miserable. And the girls are looking at this with disgust. You see, every now and again, to drive a point home, you got to think creatively, and you got to summon your hardcore. Because it's not something you're used to having to do. Warriors, I'm going to go over a list of crazy facts, psychological facts that... that that are fun to, to, to know, fun to shout out, right, and reflect on. Found these on, on Reddit, I think. Is it called Reddit? Or Quora? Quora? I don't know. Every now and again, I want you to pay attention to some of those articles that you see on Reddit and Quora, if you do read them, because you can tell if it comes from a narcissist's point of view, because they're always trying to convince you that you can't 
damage a narcissist. You can't hurt a narcissist. You can't get revenge on a narcissist. They have no feelings. You can't hurt their feelings. They have none. Oh, yes, they do. Otherwise, why would they be responding to tell you they don't? Because uh, they don't want you to know what can hurt them, what can cripple them. Psychopaths say, um, more frequently in order to appear like normal people. <clears throat> it is incredi incredibly easy to pass a polygraph test if you trick yourself into thinking that everything is fine and that everything you say is the truth, no matter what. Dang, I didn't know that shit. When you lie, you may shake your head. This is your body saying that it doesn't believe you. Dang! Body language is key. Why do you think narcissists analyze the shit out of you? Every reaction to the tonality of the delivery of the same message. It's why they sound like a broken record. And you're going, you already, you asked me three fucking times. What the hell are you? They're looking for reactions in the tonality, the delivery, and how it agitates you. They need your ghetto pin number. Can I get a what, what? When you lie, oh wait, if someone accuses you and threatens you about a wrongdoing relentlessly, you will eventually find that it is in your best interest to fess up to a crime, making you guilty of something you never did. This is a minor form of brainwashing. Narcissists would do this and rub your ego to make it look like you're trying to befriend them and set you up for a crime you didn't commit and maybe recording you. Yeah, the scapegoat. The setup is real. Now, the closer you are in a relationship, the more you can read the other's mind. We disregard our morals if a person of higher power takes responsibility for your actions, essentially just obeying authority. It is impossible to stay angry at a loved one. If you are able to do so for more than three days, then you don't love them. You never truly value a moment before it becomes a distant memory. That's me. Because when you say goodbye to the narcissist, it only means I'll be back later, later if this, other, if this monkey jump don't work out. But when you say goodbye, it means forever. Crying reduces stress and causes you to feel better. Well, duh. The people you most often think about are the ones you love or the ones who cause you pain. Music can bend and shape the way you see the world or life in general. Your favorite songs are decided by the emotional events that you attach to it. Narcissists think they're brilliant, while most have below average IQ. And for the mass majority, never made it past high school. They're dropouts. And they feel that they are such a genius and go unnoticed. These are the most bitter of narcissists. Ignorance of your feelings, oh yeah, ignorance of your feelings causes them to swell and essentially just take over your thoughts. Fast thinkers tend to have sloppy handwriting. Thoughts are fleeting, so they must be written down almost immediately. Wow. Oh, I'm going to show you my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Those are Chico notes. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, they're right. Because if you don't write it down, it's gone like a popcorn fart. When choosing a romantic partner, look for how they treat their, their inferiors or pets. That says a lot about their true nature. We care more about death of one than many. Because it's personal when one human dies. Yet, when multiple perish, we feel as if we don't know any of them. Some people just love to see you angry. The solution? Relax. 
the muscles in your face and watch as theirs visibly deflate and distort. Ooh, that's like ignoring a narcissist. You see, when you show zero feelings, zero fucks, a narcissist cannot tolerate being irrelevant in anyone's eyes. We believe what we want to believe. The human brain is always searching for a problem or a flaw. Perfection is always key for many, and some just can't let it go. The more power you gain, the more empathy you lose. Warriors, let me tell y'all something. One of the greatest ways to deliver mortification to a narcissist, sociopath, or psychopath, or any path, a fiction blow your mind. Leave them mid Hoover, mid conversations. Throw your hand up in there, throw that bitch up like this. You can even do two, two snaps in a circle with the head twist. Whatever. Or save it for your next monkey jump. Clown ass. And no is a complete sentence. Narcissists do not deserve an explanation. Besides, with that low IQ, it's not like they'd understand. Just nod for him. You get it, don't you? Bye, Felicia. <laughs> All right, y'all. Drunk, stoned, or stupid. Might be a narcissist. Let's remind ourselves, man. Let's grab these you know, at randoms. Being Facebook friends is too much commitment. Whoa, whoa. Back up, whoa. That you just send me a friend request. Y'all, I need more haters. The last one just friended me. Dang it, man. Even narcissists hate sending me haters. I end up winning them over. They become my number one fans. <laughs> Owns crayons. And still can't color inside the lines. Dang it, what we going to do with you? Opinion is unwanted. But they're going to share it anyway. You see, that's what we do here also. We trigger the shit out of narcissists. And without them ever knowing it, when they reveal themselves, they're deleted forever. is way down to hit the strip club. <laughs> or take over the stage. Let me show you how to do this shit right. Your non-twerking ass. <laughs> is a basic bitch. You wanna piss a narcissist off? Let them know they're below average with their bad self. is a fucking pushover. Shut up. Get out of here. Like that? Like, shut up. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Would look super cute as a French maid. Mm, nah, not everybody. Some, some, mm -mm. some needs to just keep their clothes on. Just keep your shit on. All right, y'all, let's check out this fortress cookie. Let's see what the fortress has to say today. Take the advice of a faithful friend.
And if you don't have one yet, because you're thin in your circles, then check this out. Consult with the expert in you. Experience. Intuition. You see, it's been screaming at you. And you let it fall back as a whisper. And it's time to bring that bitch to the front and let that four-year-old... Linda, 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 listen. Listen, honey, honey, precious. Honey, honey, listen. Yeah, that little shit right there is going to get your ass in a crack or get you in some crack. And crack nowadays uh, can transfer a sexually transmitted demon or disease. Pick one or both. One in every three people you meet has a kukui down there, an itchy crawly, the kind that'll have you taking shots or pills till the day you die, a hell of a slow death, the mark of the beast killing you ever so softly with charisma. <laughs> Oh yeah, they insist on hitting it raw. Oh yeah, because if they got it, everybody should have it. They don't want to carry that shame all the on their own. Those are the ones that scream, It was my first time! Yeah, it's the first time every time. The show is. Don't you fall for it. Keep them draws up. I once heard an elder tell somebody, giving them advice, you want to live long? Put a dime in between your knees and your legs. Just keep it there. Put a dime there. And don't let that bitch go. Which meant keep them legs tight. If you're going to do the Yoda, do it right. Don't clear your mind for a walk-in spirit. Keep them legs closed and walk like the Yoda. <laughs> well here's get out there and own it I'm proud of you and thank you for your support thanks for allowing me to be a part, part of your coaching plan but look more than anything else if these videos and others because there are so many awesome content creators out there delivering the same message garnishing it up differently it's hard to garnish a turd it's hard talk the truth but the truth of the matter is this, if you're not getting anywhere, you're not making headway, and you're at your wit's end, seek a professional. And you went through the go-throughs in the field so that you can understand if you're deliberately talking to another dumbass under the cloak of credentials. They're everywhere. And you went through this so that you could identify these fucks. Don't become a victim again and surrender your vulnerabilities to a dumbass with credentials. Shop around and do your due diligence. This is your life. And there are empathic psychologists out there doing a great work, but they are few in number. Do yourself the greatest service you could have ever done for anyone, and that is to love yourself. Warriors, thank you. Hold the line. You're no one's emotional tampon. Look at me. We got this. If you're able to watch this entire video without cringing and getting the ick, then you aren't the damn narcissist. But what you will be is what narcissists fear most. An awakened, educated empath learning their weapon systems whatever and no is powerful now get out there and own it it's never goodbye warriors it's always until next time les mando besos y abrazos namaste <laughs>